UGA's College of Public Health held its annual graduation celebration May 4th at Athens Classic Center. A festive crowd of candidates, their families, friends, faculty, and staff gathered to celebrate more than 220 students receiving degrees. This looks like it's going to be a real fun crowd, so thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Phil Williams, Dean of the College of Public Health, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our college's annual recognition ceremony. The College of Public Health was founded in 2005, and today we're excited to be celebrating our 13th graduation. We're very pleased to have seen the college grow from a handful of graduates in 2005, and by a handful I mean six, and we had 50 people in attendance, including the faculty and staff today. Uh, there's over 1,500 people in the audience, so we're very proud to, to have all of you here. Our college is one of 17 colleges at the University of Georgia, and we have four academic departments and four research institutes. We have about 1,000 students and 70 faculty. Our students come from across Georgia in 15 different states, as well as from throughout the world. In fact, we're one of the most diverse programs at UGA. Internationally, students graduating today represent a wide range of countries, including China, Germany, Russia, Uganda, and Vietnam. We are pleased that these students have come to our program in Georgia to prepare for careers that will improve the lives of individuals throughout the world. So students, today we're here to recognize your accomplishments. You're an outstanding group of individuals and we're very proud of each of you and know that you'll represent the college and the university and all of us well during your career. It's our tradition to have two speakers at our graduation ceremony, one from outside the university and the other representing the graduating class. It's my honor now to welcome our first speaker, Dr. Deborah Gould. The number one tip that I'm gonna leave you with and what I think is probably the most important tip for a successful public health career is soft skills matter. And by soft skills, I mean people skills. These are the skills that you're gonna to need to communicate and get along with others. It's your work ethic, it's your attitude, it's your communication skills and your emotional intelligence. And some examples of these important soft skills are communications that's both oral and written. You know, communication skills can be learned and improved with training. So if you need some work in that area, make sure you do that. Teamwork and collaboration is essential in public health. Rarely will you be in a position where you will just be isolated and working by yourself. You're gonna be working with teams of people and it's most likely gonna be a diverse team of people who don't look like you and don't talk like you. So you've got to be a team player. Problem solving and resourcefulness. You gotta be able to make quick decisions. Think on your feet and solve problems. And again, find a way to get things done with what you've got because resources are often very times very limited. And flexibility, you gotta bend, be able to adapt to change. And so I want you to remember this last thing that I have to say, and again, if you don't remember anything else that I've said today, but um, you know, your resume and the hard or technical skills that you've acquired here at CPH 
may get you that interview, but it's going to be your soft skills that will often determine if you get that position or if you're able to keep that position um, when you go forward. So soft skills are essential for your career. In summary, you've received a wonderful legacy, UGA legacy, CPH legacy, public health legacy. So wherever you go, whatever path you follow, I wish you the best of luck and again, Welcome to the public health family. Thank you. From lectures with Dr. Orpinas, where she vehemently inspires the class to get others to show you the data, <laughs> to the collective drainness and mind boggledness that is the community health final. <laughs> From all nighters spent at Rhodes Hall to try and finish your literature reviews, to sitting in on a class all semester that you hadn't even registered for just so you could see your friends. From experiencing a new country and becoming obsessed with Kumamon, to hearing and experiencing, or to, ooh, sorry, to hearing and answering what feels like the millionth time, what even is public health? <laughs> the point of those short representations of just a few moments characterizing our experiences here at UGA, other than to shamelessly shout out a few friends and fellow graduates, was to help drive this point home. College, whether undergraduate or graduate, is of course about getting our degrees so that we can find some kind of job that allows us to start adulting, but even more importantly, how to live in the moment and not take a single one for granted. Class of 2018, it's our turn now. Our turn to tackle the world, grab the bull by its horns, plant our feet, and get it done. Just remember, you shouldn't have to stop and smell the roses because that means at some point, you forgot about what's really important. Thank you, and Wakanda forever. Congratulations to the UGA College of Public Health Class of 2018.